My girlfriend and I, we are thinking to leave Toronto and to move to Calgary in the next few years. I have talked in my another video about why we want to leave Toronto, even though there are a lot of career opportunities in this city. You may want to watch that video because in that video we talked why Toronto is not a place for us to live. So why Calgary? Why not other cities? Well, let's use elimination methods since there aren't many options if you want to live in Canada. So let's see what are our options if we want to live in Canada. There aren't many. Montreal, the second or third largest city of the country, but we don't speak French and uh, we don't have enough time to learn the language to a level which will allow us to communicate with the locals like we do in English. Ottawa, the capital of the nation. There's a great university. Well, the place is a little too cold and a little too expensive for us to live. We can't buy a decent detached house, which is what we want, without $800,000. We don't want to spend all of our earnings on housing, even if we can afford that much money. How about Halifax? Both Halifax and St. John's are too windy and too cold. Also, there aren't many opportunities that match our skills. Vancouver and Victoria are great places to live if you don't have any issue paying $2 million for a house. Another concern living in the West Coast is that there's a predicted massive earthquake along the west coast in the next a few decades that will hit the entire coast, including the west coast of the United States. I don't want to risk my whole family's lives by living there, no matter how beautiful it is there. Edmonton can be another option, but we think Calgary is a better one. Although Edmonton is the capital of the province, there are direct international flight to Calgary, not to Edmonton. So why not a small city around Toronto? We have a good understanding of Toronto and we have friends and connections here. If you want to buy a three bedroom, three bathroom detached house with a decent sized garage under $700,000, you search around and uh, you immediately find out it's almost impossible to buy a such a house around GTA area. You can either buy a townhouse with a very little of your own land, one and a half hour away from the downtown, or you can buy a two bedroom apartment in a high rise, which will decrease in value year after year. Don't even mention the few hundred dollar maintenance fee that you would pay monthly and never come back. Anyone who knows land investment and want to own a home for long term would really buy an apartment. Unless he thinks that the housing price will increase so dramatically in the near future, like it did in Vancouver and Toronto in the past decade, that those monthly fees can be almost negligible. I personally think that the huge housing price happened in the past decade would not repeat itself in the next decade because there aren't enough buyers who can afford that high price. Buyer's income needs some time to catch up the housing price to make it continue to increase. But of course, this is my personal view. That's why we think that those cities, including those around the GTA, cannot be a good option for us. But still, why Calgary? We'd like to go to a place where things are cheap, sceneries are beautiful, People are friendly with less tax, warm weather, and safer communities. A place where we can raise the family easily and happily. This is not an escape from the competition in the mega cities. We aren't afraid of competitions. We have been through some of those fierce competitions and will face more in the future. And we want meaningful competition where we would be awarded with what we want. Choosing where to live is a kind of competition for resources and investment for future. Anyway, we want a place with at least 5,000 square feet where at least a few kids can play and with three bedrooms and one or two decent sized garages within less than one hour radius from the city center. There are many choices like that in Calgary. And we want a warmer place because we found that cold and windy place makes us sad and blue. 
especially my girlfriend cannot stand cold. Calgary is a warm place with the coldest days in the year reaching a little lower than minus 10 Celsius. We prefer a place close to nature. It would be great if we are close to mountains and water like Victoria and Vancouver. Calgary offers that. The Banff National Park is right next to the city and is within 2 hour drive range. Look at this, it is right next to the National Park. I myself never been there but I was in Vancouver Mountains and I can imagine how beautiful they are. Look at these nice pictures. These views not only represent Calgary, sometimes even represent Alberta. We would love to take our kids there and have them raised in this close to nature place. Instead of smelly, noisy, expensive and crowded cities where people aren't that nice to each other. Plus, the tax is only 5%, quite low compared to 13% in Ontario. There was a period when Alberta offered crude oil dividends to all of its residents, and the presence of the crude oil made the low tax possible. The city is a lot smaller compared to Toronto and Vancouver. People have been there love the city. Look at these comments to one of my previous videos. It says, mountains are unbelievable. Lake Louise is unreal. That's how amazing they are. People love it. Another good thing is that there is an international airport in the city. Most of our relatives live back in our home country and we visit them often. Having an international airport next to where we live not only decreased the number of times we would switch the flights, but also reduced the amount of time we would spend on the road. The only concern of going to Calgary is that whether we would be able to find a satisfying job there. Anyway, that's it for today. In one of my future videos, I'll compare living in Toronto versus living in Calgary. So, smash that subscribe button for YouTube algorithm. If you have watched my entire video, you're amazing. Please leave your thoughts and comments down below. I'll reply. Thanks for watching and see you next time.